Hey there everyone, Aaron Spalsbury here at 3X Logic. Today I'm going to show you one of the new features in the Vigil Client software called Stitched Playback. This is a wonderful feature that I think you will all enjoy and most certainly use probably day in and day out because it allows you to tie all of these various video pieces together and essentially make one exportable piece of media. So I'll give you an idea how this guy works. So I'm going to come up here to the top, just go ahead and click search, and uh, it looks like I'll grab these four cameras here. Uh, just for simplicity's sake, I'll just go ahead and hit load all and jump directly into our uh, multi-screen playback. Now, of course, you can do this up to 16 times on playback within our software, but uh, for the simplicity's sake of the demo, I'm just going to do it on the four here. Um, also, I'm not going to use this point of sale information. I'm going to go ahead and close that screen just for now. So let's say, for instance, that I wanted to find maybe something that has happened here within this uh, screen in the upper left. So I'll just kind of scrub across and say, okay, well, maybe we found something in this little region here. Now, this is, would be the beginning of my video. So I'm going to come over here off to the right and I'm going to click the start range. That is now my start range, or essentially the beginning of this video clip that I want to extract from just this one camera here in the upper left quadrant. Now I'll just grab the time bar and kind of pull it across and we see some people kind of walking through the hallway there. Let's say that that is now my end range. So I'm going to come over here off to the right and I'm going to click end range. But what happens is, is one of these buttons over here off to the right, this kind of little uh, double arrow here, this blue guy, add to stitched playback, this now gives me the option of being able to take just that little segment that I just set the start and end range on, I can then click this button and it adds that piece of video to my stitched playback window here off to the left. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this window, I'm actually going to take it here and dock it off to the left, you can do that just by hovering over uh, on top of that little window on the left. But now let's say for instance I'll come over here off to the right and say, oh let's say I want this to be the beginning of my next piece of video. So I'll go ahead and click start range on on this one and I'll just grab the slide bar and kind of drag it over a little bit and I will call that my end range and then of course I'm going to hit that add to stitch playback again and you'll notice now I've just added that register one in there well the neat thing is is that you can do this over and over and over again and make a full-blown stitched playback piece of video so I'll give you kind of a use case for this someone's coming into the front of the building you got 10 seconds of them coming through the front door. Well, you grab that 10 seconds, you throw it into the stitch playback window. Well, the next camera that catches them, of course, wouldn't be camera number two because it never works out like that for anybody. It's always camera 17 or 21 or something odd. Well, now you can take that next piece of video and put it into the stitched playback window. And once you have all of these together, so you, for instance, you could have 15, 20 different pieces of stitched video and essentially make one big video clip of them on all of these cameras of them walking through the building or whatever it may be. But once you have all of these listed here off to the left that you want, you can come down here and click View Stitched. Now when you do that, it opens up yet another playback window, and you'll notice this is the, st the uh, stitched window by a couple of different things. For one, the bar across the top will be kind of this kind of orange color here, but notice it also says Stitched Playback on 001 Denver, Colorado. That, of course, is our server here. But the nice thing is, is as I play through this video, and of course it's going to get to the end of that first portion of that stitched video, it's going to automatically jump over to my next clip that I've stitched. Well, once you have all of these linked together, and I mean, you can have someone walking all the way through the building, doing whatever it is, leaving the building, you've caught them on 12, 15 different cameras, whatever it is, you can now export this entire video clip off as one piece of evidence, as simply just one video clip. And the nice thing is, is when it does get to court or whoever the next person that's looking at this, they don't have to ba bounce back and forth between various camera inputs or look at a multi-screen display and try to figure out what camera they're on, so on and so forth. They can watch the entire thing all in one shot. But uh, needless to say, it's a great feature. I think you guys will all enjoy this one. But uh, that's how you use Stitch Playback on version 8.0. We'll see you on the next one.